When I was 13 years old, the war had started. That was 1939. At 17 and a half, I was due to be called up. And when I was interviewed, I was given a choice of, oh, well, you have been in dressmaking. I was a dress designer by this time. You ought to be in a parachute making firm or making uniforms. I said, and what is the alternative? Well, you can go to an engineering factory where they're making tanks. I said, could I join something out of Yorkshire? Uh, well, yes, you could join the Land Army. I said, I'd like the Land Army. I said, I've always been keen on outdoor things, you know. A lot of men who worked on farms were called up or wanted to be in the Army, Navy or Air Force. And so somebody had to replace them because I think we needed an awful lot more food during wartime. So the Land Army was enlisted to grow food. And I think that not half the crops would have been brought in had there not been girls there. So within a few weeks, I was sent a uniform and a rail ticket. And when my papers came, it said, Penzance. Remember, I'm in Leeds at this time in Yorkshire. And my father said, I'll get a map out and have a look. We hadn't heard of Penzance. <laughs> he got the map out. He said, if you sent you any further, you dropped off the end. <laughs> so... On the train coming down to Penzance, there were 50 of us from Leeds and Lancashire, all new recruits, all in new uniforms, and we'd never worn trousers before this. I didn't mind wearing dungarees and things, but the other clothes, I tell you, I looked like Humpty Dumpty. If you lived in a hostel, you were sent to one farm one day and one farm another. Otherwise, you were sent to a farm and you were a permanent member on a farm. Most of the land girls, the ones that lived in the hostels, had to be prepared to do anything that was asked of them, any land work. If you couldn't milk a cow when you went on to a farm, they very quickly taught you. And you'd fed chickens, cleaned out cow sheds, planted cabbages and broccoli. And The thing I liked about most of the farms when they sent you out to bring the cows in, you used to stand at the end of the field and shout, cow, 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 and they used to come trampling across, and then you walk down the road with a stick in your hand. And I used to think, this is magic, you know. You got very good at all sorts of jobs that you'd never done before. Anything I couldn't do before, I can do now.